Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Before I get into it, make sure that you like, subscribe, and don't forget to share this video and leave a comment. It really helps the channel to continue to grow. And also, if you're somebody who's into reading, I have a book on Amazon called 30 Reasons Why Men Deserve Nothing. And it's all about embracing your own self-worth and not accepting dusty men in your life and basically how to spot them as well and all the damage that they do to women as well and and just all the the labor that women put into relationships compared to men so it's it's just an all around uh easy read but just chock full of information that is really important right now so anyways this video is kind of off topic a little bit i feel for me because it's about women it's not about men well actually it's, it's kind of about men too but it's more so about women <laughs> So there's this video that went viral on TikTok um, of this uh, micro-influencer. I think her name is Megan Odich. Did I say her name right? Um, her video has since been deleted, but basically I'm going to play her video for you guys. And then I'm going to come back with some thoughts. And then I'm going to play people's reactions to her video because it was a mess. It was, it was sad and it was a mess. It was a sad mess. So let's get into it. I don't care if you have a boyfriend. Whenever a guy asks for your social media, give him your snap. Give him your Instagram. I don't care that he looks like an ogre. I had just finished at the club with my friends and we decided to go for a McDonald's and we literally just sat on some steps. Bear in mind we are wearing heels and quite small dresses. Obviously we're all a little bit drunk because we've just come from the club so logic isn't really kicking in. A man decides to come up to us and says oh you girls look beautiful. We say thank you. Then he asks for my Instagram and I politely declined. Oh no thank you I'm not interested. The man did not move. He asked again. I said, I'm literally not interested. Like, no, you can't have my social media. Just decided that he wasn't going to move until I gave him my Instagram. And he was making us all feel super uncomfortable. Probably should have just given in. But if I've said no once, I'm not going to change my mind. Obviously, men don't understand that. So my friend stood up and she said, please, can you move away? She said no. He said, no, I'm not moving until she gives me her socials. My friend again said, move away. She said no, leave us alone. This man then proceeded to punch her and she literally fell down the stairs, but he wasn't done. Mm -mm -mm. He ran down the stairs and continued to punch her, pull her hair. Obviously, this is a five foot four girl against like a six foot one man. He was so into the whole punching thing that his trousers literally fell down. Like we could see this man's whole Bum. while he's got her pinned on the ground literally repeatedly punching her in the face we obviously couldn't stop it because we are also just gonna get beaten up so strangers were jumping out of their car and trying to separate them and this man just ended up running off a massive group of men like asked us what happened and tried to find him like they all went after him but genuinely no one could find him and obviously with the London underground you can hop into any station and disappear like that and someone who was watching it all happen called the police and they asked for a statement from us and like a description of him obviously they never found him and nothing was done about it this girl literally having a patch of hair missing from her head and bruises all over her and I can't help but think it was my fault because I chose to say no to a man which is crazy the only way to prevent yourself from this happening and staying safe is honestly just let them have it because at the end of the day as soon as they add you you can literally block them straight away i would say avoid giving out phone numbers just because they can still carry on calling you on no caller id even if you've blocked them i don't care how ugly they are because this is actually a safety issue and no one should ever experience that in their lifetime <laughs> So you guys just watched that video of Megan and what took place that night um, with her friends when they went out. Um, very scary situation. This huge man, like six feet something, you know, beating on a young woman who's only like five four or, or something, uh, causes her to fall down the stairs, continues to beat her till his pants are dropping off. And then she doesn't do anything. Strangers have to call the police. And this is supposed to be your friend. And she had a follow-up video because people were dragging her. Like, why did you let that happen to your friend, basically? And you you did nothing to stop it. It's, it's just unbelievable. She ends up trying to explain away her lack of action by saying that, like, well, you know, 
I was too small. I, c I knew that I couldn't have done anything. Okay, um, he punched this woman in her face and she fell downstairs. She could have got a concussion. She could have lost an eye. She could have broke her neck falling down the stairs. Like, your friend could have died for you that day. And all she has to say is, well, I was too small. And then she turns around and also adds, oh, I had only met her like twice before. So that's why someone should like die in front of you or be severely injured in front of you. Just sick um, and very scary. Very scary. People really don't know who they're um, partying with. People really don't know who they're calling friends. You have to be so careful about who you are claiming to be your friend. Not everyone is your friend just because you hang out, you know? Some people are just acquaintances. Some people are just friends of friends. <laughs> people should earn the title of being your friend, for real. And this just makes me feel like, you know, young women who are out here jumping in front of their friends to defend them all the time, think twice about that. There are girls on Twitter who are saying that, like, dang, I'm normally that friend who's jumping in the way and defending my friends and stuff. And they're admitting that, like, I don't know who would jump in the way for me. I don't know who would defend me if something happened. So y'all need to be really careful because you might put yourself in a situation where something does go left and your so-called friends don't take any action at all to help you. And like, that's why consider the stuff that I teach in my book and on this channel um, to apply for everyone, for all of your relationships, just like you vet men, you should also be vetting women, <laughs> you know, you should be not just vetting people who you date or want to marry. You should be vetting people who are going to be close to you, period. Whether that's a friend, an acquaintance, a boss, anything. <laughs> you know, everyone needs to be vetted because, like, this is just not acceptable. And, like, I feel, I don't know, I feel so bad for that young woman. I really hope that she's not friends with uh, that Megan TikToker anymore. <laughs> or any of that group, to be honest, because no one in that group did anything to help her they all stood by anyway i'm gonna play some reactions for you so yeah let's roll the reactions some of y'all are so strange i'm talking about this megan girl in the midst of this girl megan telling this horrible horrific story time she's just doing her makeup telling us the story S oh my god so the way that some of y'all don't deserve loyal friends and I heard that in another video, she's doubling down, saying stuff like, oh, well, that girl wasn't really my friend. Mm. She took a beating for a stranger because you, you just said you was y'all was out together. This why when it comes to like going out, stuff like that, I was I was taught from a very young age. Everybody's not your friend. Also, I don't I don't do a lot of going out with associates because if shit like this happens, I already know my main core group of friends. They're not going to sit around and watch a man pummel me. And I'm getting up with a patch of hair missing. I'm, I'm shocked the stories that some of y'all will tell for views. Y'all are disturbing. Like we could see this man's whole bum. While he's got her pinned on the ground, literally repeatedly punching her in the face. We obviously couldn't stop it. So this is just me as a girl thinking of other ways I could stop it as a 5'2 girl. So two inches shorter. Number one, he looking down. He has one hand pinning her. One hand hitting her. He has no hands for me. So look, look. I'm going to take this hand. I'm going to take this hand. You can't beat her ass if you can't breathe. This one is a little bit more advanced. You come. Get off my, get off my friend. It's not that hard. It's not that. I could, I could think of more ways. It's a girl's night out. He's distracted. Trying to kill my friend. I might opt for one of these on a girl's night out. But look how fat this goes to this. Real easy. Hold on. Stilettos. Maybe better. Even the side with the bottom. It's... God, I was literally trying to... Hello? How many times did we call your name? Stop trying to make other content. Stop trying to do other videos of your lashes. We don't care. Why did you leave your friend there? Like, I'm not going to lie. I hear it. You don't want to be cooked, you don't want to be flogged, but look, they're already flogging you. Turn on your comments, right? Face the music, so then you can move on properly. Because right now, trying to turn off your comments, trying to make other videos so that the video of you talking about your friend goes down, is not happening. Let them rip your singly. 
let them rip your stink then you can move on properly because what you're trying to do right now it's not really making any sense stop take the lashes off babe yeah let them flog you let's actually look at the facts yeah because first of all you said that this girl's your friend then it's oh you only met this girl twice then it's oh um i don't really know her like that somebody's lying here meg personally had it been me i'm taking off my heel and i'm literally going to hit you with it in your eye because get off my neck do you get it the wickedest part is she explained the story and then like even explaining the story whilst doing your makeup it's just very like put your makeup brushes down bro that's not a story that you tell whilst doing your makeup i can't lie um get ready with me whilst i tell you the story about how my friend who's not my friend who's an associate actually i met her like two days ago i don't really know her she got beaten up by a man because she defended me like why did you even tell us that sometimes it's like you have to lie meg meg why did you come and explain yourself and then you even her explanation was worse than the story how do you mess up how do you mess up that badly she came back and she told us that the friend isn't actually her friend she doesn't really know her so it's like why would she get involved her best bet would have been to come back and be like oh um we all tried to get in. even if you're lying come back and be like we all tried to get involved but there were so many people the guy was too strong we tried to do something i feel like in time people forget about this but it's the fact that she just keeps it's the fact that she just keeps making videos like about different stuff trying to forget about what happened babe stop getting ready we don't care <laughs> get ready we don't want to get ready with you we don't want to get ready with you come back come back and face the music why did you leave your friend dead no your friend who's not your friend whatever why did you because you know what my thing is it could be a stranger if a girl jumps in to defend me best believe this man's gonna have to flog us both to get we're gonna have to get beaten up together because what <sighs> stop making videos come and face the music let them flog you for a week or so they're gonna get over it like somebody else is gonna mess up coming someone's probably messed up right now anybody else see that video of that girl from london talking about sh how she let her friend get the shit beat out of her i did and that shit's wild that would have been my time to shine i would have been all hands on deck i've been waiting for a moment like that how could she oh my gosh and there was a few of you guys just watching her get her ass beat the uh, speechless i'm gagged this man then proceeded to punch her and she literally fell down the stairs i don't know how y'all get down across the pond let me tell you how that scenario would have played out with my group of friends baby we done dodged some charges and we done dodged some court martials because we all in the military baby you said one important key factor that i heard y'all was all drunk because it was after the club me and my girls we only drink dark liquor only two things that's happening when you offer dark you either smashing at the end of the night or you are fighting at the end of the night you said that you wasn't feeling that man so the first option is out the window you said that that man was trying to holler at you megan and you wasn't feeling it then your friend jumped in to help and said like hey she's not feeling it and then that man proceeds to punch her in the face, knocking her down the stairs. She's down there to then attack her. And y'all sat there and did nothing. Nothing, Megan. As soon as we would have said, no, we not feeling it. And he would have tried to like get a little puff up his chest. One of us would have been like, you need to calm down. We try to de-escalate the situation, but one of us would have already been coming up out of our shoes. One of us would have already been taking off earrings. A little formation going. Because what you're not about to do is hit one of us. And if you do manage to land a punch, it had happened to us before where one, a guy got a punch in on one of us. But he didn't walk away without getting that ass beat. And that's my problem. And for you to make another video trying to clear it up, like, well, she wasn't really that, like, I didn't know her like that. Got an argument to fight for less for people that I don't know. Stood up for people. You were just a shit friend. That's the end of it. Your friend group is not real. And I hope that girl reevaluates her situation with you guys. Maybe you lying. And if you are lying, go ahead and come out and tell us that you lying so we can get off your back. But girl, y'all was wrong for that. Y'all not real. Y'all. 
So everyone is outraged at this Megan girl because of what happened with her friend and the friend getting beat up by the guy that was trying to move to her and all this year. But my thing is, like, I don't understand why a lot of people are acting so shocked. Like, a lot of women have always been about this. A lot of women have always been silent in the oppression of other women as long as they were the ones that were put on the pedestal. A lot of women have always been okay with dating men who talk down about other women that they know or other type of women as long as they were made to feel like they were special. A lot of women have always been about that. Um, and sometimes that's how some women get their self-esteem over the fact that they, that they know that men will treat certain type of women a certain type of way. But as long as they treat them nicely... So I don't know why we're acting shocked because this plays out every day in real life. Like it might not always result in the violence that was described in the video, but this sort of mindset has always been about women. A lot of women have always thought like this. A lot of women have always behaved like this. Do you understand? Like, so I'm not, I'm not getting it. So you go out and a man comes up to you and asks you for your social media you say no and the girl that's with you stands up for you and tells him to piss off and he ends up beating her up because she stood up for you and you stand there and you watch her get beat up do nothing you don't do anything you just stand there and you watch her get beat on by a grown man so much so you watch so much of it happen to where you can describe exactly what he was doing to her but it also happened so fast that you didn't have enough time to react. Okay. And then when everybody is trying to figure out what you got going on, your response is, oh, well, I've only known her. I only met her two times. This is my second time hanging out with her. Like, I, like no, I wasn't. She's an associate to me. And that wasn't the point of my video. The point of my video was about woman safety. How can you advocate for woman safety when you stood there and watched a woman get beat up? Y'all gotta watch who y'all hang out with. Because these these younger girls, they not raised on the same values that we was raised on. They not raised on that value where if y'all go out together, everybody need to leave together. Everybody need to go to the bathroom together. Uh, y'all need to buddy up. Y'all need to have a buddy system. They not raised on that. They was not they not being raised on that. Okay? Y'all need to be careful who y'all go out with. For real. Because I don't care if I've known you for 10 years or 10 seconds. If we go out together, we are leaving together. And if you get into something, then I'm in it with you. And whatever the hell happens is what happens. But it's going to happen to both of us. Definitely let me know what you thought in the comment section. I will be there reading your responses for sure. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more.